This is the front page to which Brits woke up this morning. The headline, Kate Outdoors. The photo, a pic of the princess from last September. Though the Sun reports Kate was seen looking happy, relaxed, and healthy on a visit to the Windsor Farm Shop with William, no new photo was published. The royals keeping her under wraps still. It's been 84 days since Kate was last seen at a public event, 62 days since she underwent a secret abdominal surgery. But missteps, including that Mother's Day photo editing scandal, have only added to the mystery about what's really going on with the princess as wilder and wilder conspiracy theories swirl around her. I do worry about what happened to the truth. Princess Diana's brother, Charles Spencer, talked all about that speculation on the BBC. Do you think the dangers of that online, almost sort of conspiracy world are more potent than the press intrusion that you have fought against? No, I think it was more dangerous back in the day. In my own circles this weekend, the talk about Kate Middleton is just wild. I've heard everything from colitis to a facelift. Charlie Langston joins us from the Daily Mail. Charlie, why not just come out and say this is what's going on. It's irritating. And honestly, they have handled this whole situation so poorly. And I think that they are now scrambling to come up with a solution for how they can handle this. It also once again raises more questions about why she has yet to address the public. If she's well enough to go out to the shops, a lot of people are asking, why isn't she well enough to speak to us and explain what's going on? Let's move to the king for a second here. Is there reason to believe that the health situation with Charles is more dire than we thought? Absolutely not. There are reports that Charles' type of cancer is the type that is basically unbeatable. Well, and I think this is part of the reason why the palace has not shared his type of cancer or his stage of cancer. They don't want people making false assumptions about how much time he might have, about his chances of survival. We should say to Kensington Palace what we say to our uh, 13, 14 year old children. And that is the truth will always be better than whatever it is you've done. I agree.